How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going in depth here with the perk system in Modern Warfare 2. Alright, so before we get started with this video, I want you to make sure you are liking the video. That would push this video to more people looking for the same kind of content. And make sure you're also hitting the subscribe button with the notification bell on so you're not missing any of the content coming to this channel in the very near future. So something new here in Modern Warfare 2 is this new perk package system, meaning you get to have ultimate perks, perks that are going to be loaded up throughout the game based on the amount of score or kills you are getting. So I figured it's probably a good video to cover some of this new stuff and what exactly are the best perks to be running. You guys can see here, I have two different perk packages that I like to run depending on the way the game is playing out or dependent on how I plan to be playing with a certain weapon. So let's just quickly dive here through the actual perks. So you have the, in this original slot, you get two to start with. They start right at the beginning of the game and you have access to overkill, double time, battle hardened, scavenger, bomb squad, tracker, strong arm and extra tactical. So there's three options in this one that I think are the best. Not that the other ones aren't good. I just think these other ones are better just kind of how this game plays. So for starters, we have Battle Hardened. You guys, I'm sure, have been flashed in this game. You have been concussed. You've been hit with shot charge, and it's extremely annoying. So this reduces that effect of the tacticals. And now the next one's going to be Bomb Squad, which is basically the opposite, but it's going to be for its Flak Jacket. If you guys are familiar with what Flak Jacket is, it reduces the damage taken from the lethal category, such as Grenades, Semtex, C4, uh, proximity mines you guys get the gist there so the other perk that i like to run is scavenger i do not like to run that munitions box unless i'm really just going for camo challenges i feel as though it's a waste of a field upgrade you can be running dead silence which i feel is the best one to be running here and with that being said there is there isn't poor choices like i said but i feel as though those are the best ones this is just for respawn keep in mind as there could be better options for a game mode like search and destroy but for your perk ones i feel like this is going to be where you're going to have your most success we're going to go over the total perk package when i'm done explaining each category of perks so the second perk we're going with here is you're going to have resupply spotter cold-blooded fast hands hardline and focus now there's two here that i particularly like to run resupply is not a bad one i've been considering throwing this one on because you do get to recharge your tactical meaning if you're running stims they do like to recharge and especially with this one since we're not going with quick fix in the perk package stims are going to be important but resupply is one that i don't really use all too much just as of yet spotter spot enemy equipment this is basically engineer i don't feel like this one's necessary especially if you're using battle harden and bomb squad cold-blooded the only time this is really going to be important is if you're getting streaked on very heavily or someone on the enemy team has a thermal scope, which I haven't seen all too much of just yet. So cold blooded is kind of out of the picture for me. The next one is fast hands. Fast hands is one that I like a lot in this game. The aim down sight speed is pretty slow, so you're not going to be running larger size magazines in fast hands. Once you get it charged means you can just run around extremely aggressively with the fast reload possible. Hardline, reduce kill streak costs by one or reduce your score streak cost by 125 points. You can see I do have this one on the perk package, but I'll discuss that in a minute. And then we have focus, reduce flinch when aiming down the sights and holding breath. I can understand if someone's using this with a sniper rifle, but I still don't think that it's all too crazy in this game as far as flinch goes. And over in our perk three or our ultimate perk here, we have a bunch of choices that you could be using. Now, I'm going to say this right off the rip. There's only one or two of these here that I would say you should stay away from. Survivor, this is not worth it. If you're going to get down in multiplayer, uh, chances are you're just going to get finished. It just seems like a waste of an ultimate perk. Bird's Eye is the other one that I'm probably going to steer clear of. The minimap does get zoomed out. You can see a bit more of the map and the radar pings do reveal the direction of the enemies but with that being said this is only a really a good one with a uav in the sky so let's talk about the rest of them that i feel as though is very good so overclock is one of those that i think is going to be very very efficient in search and destroy with a dead silence combination in respawn i don't exactly see it being meta um but with that being said 
I think it's a good choice for players that are aggressive and do want to run Dead Silence. I don't think I feel like Dead Silence is the only one that you're going to need overclock for. Now, Quick Fix. This, in my opinion, is the best ultimate perk. Immediately start regenerating health after a kill. And I can't tell you how many times this has saved me. I get a kill, I immediately regen my health, and I can challenge a gunfight right away, keeping me alive longer, keeping my streak going. Now we have Ghost. Everybody knows what Ghost is. You're undetectable by unit UAVs, portable radars, and heartbeat sensors. This is a very good ultimate perk. Ghost has always been a staple perk here in Call of Duty. And this is good with a particular perk package that I'm going to explain here in a second. And then we have high alert vision pulses when spotted by an enemy outside of your field of view. This is another one I feel like is going to be most efficient in a game like Search and Destroy. So let's discuss the two perk packages I have created and why I run them. So you guys can see here I have Battle Hardened, Bomb Squad, Hardline, and Ghost. This is going to be my perk package for a game that I don't feel like I'm going to be going for a nuke on. I don't feel like I'm streaking up very well, but I do want to win the game and I want to play extremely objective heavy. So obviously the battle harden reduces your tactical bomb squad reduces the effects of lethals hardline. If I'm on the hill and I end up getting, you know, one, two, three, four, five kills on that hill, you know, I'm getting my streaks one kill quicker. And then we have ghost to stay off of our enemies mini map so we can get that streak with hardline. So this is my very objective heavy, not caring about deaths kind of perk package. Now we do have another one that I use, and this is my nuke kind of perk package. So this one I have scavenger, bomb squad, fast hands, and quick fix. So this is my going for a nuke. I am running dead silence on for the field upgrade on this perk package. Scavenger because I'm not running that munitions box. And obviously I want to keep using the weapon that I am using that I built myself. Bomb Squad's pretty self-explanatory just because lethal damage, it'll kill you if you're not running Bomb Squad. Fast Hands, for the same reason I explained while explaining the perk, uh, I want to be able to reload quickly, play aggressive, and get myself out of this sticky situation if there's multiple enemies. In Quick Fix, which I said I do believe is the best ultimate perk, it has saved my life on countless occasions and will be extremely important while you're trying to go on high streaks. Now, if you made it to this point in the video, I want you to go down in the comment section and put best perks that way i know you made it all the way to the end thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe if you have not already i'll see you guys in the next video